was even going to get up and say what he did. Bob Fife is the Ottawa bureau chief for the Globe and Mail. Uh, hi, Bob. Good, hi. To, good to see you. Uh, this just keeps getting bigger and bigger when it comes to the diplomatic rift between these two countries. Yeah, it's a very, very serious rift. Um, you know, the, the government came out with what were explosive allegations. The prime minister doing it, not another minister, but the prime minister saying this. This got the Indian prime minister, Narendra Modi, really upset. And now we're into uh, a full-fledged uh, diplomatic war with India, not so much on our part, um, but certainly from the Indian point of view. And he's also getting ready for an election campaign, which is, plays well for him. But this is a, it's got a serious issue here, particularly for the business community. A free trade agreement that we were hoping to have perhaps uh, ink by the end of the year uh, is now off the table. And, uh, you know, we were supposed to uh, lead a very important high-level Team Canada business trip to India on October the 9th, the day before. Uh, how ironic. Uh, how ironic. And that's been cancelled. And, uh, you know, now that it, now India is saying, you know, you've got to pull out all of these diplomats out of uh, out of uh, India, which is a significant thing because we, uh, we have a, a high commission in New Delhi, but we also have three consulate offices and, and four trade offices. And all of these people outside of the, M M uh, the high commission in New Delhi are, are now being pulled out. So what does this mean? Well, if you're trying to do business in yeah, India, it means effects. you are in trouble. Yeah. It also means that if you're a business person uh, wanting to go to India, you can't can't get a visa, and on the other side, because we don't have, uh, we're going to have a few uh, people in our uh, high commission office, who is going to, if you're an Indian student or an Indian businessman wanting to come to Canada or even a tourist, who's going to give you a visa? Uh, that's a very serious issue. And I mean, it's my understanding is that's the argument that the, the government is making behind the scenes to the Indian government, right? We have a sizable uh, relationship that does exist already prior to even talks of, of amplifying that relationship through a formal trade agreement. Um, there's a number of international students that want to come back and forth. Yeah, a, a, a really large number. And uh, e even the logistics, I was speaking to some of the diplomats who had actually been evacuated, two of them who were uh, g genuinely concerned for their safety. My understanding is in, in Delhi, if you're located there, you um, have diplomatic immunity, but outside, you, you, you likely would not. And so that's part of the reason why they were evacuated. Well, if you were a Canadian diplomat at a consulate, you would have diplomatic immunity. But if you were, say, a provincial trade yeah. official, you may not have that. And the problem is that the Modi government has been riling up uh, the, the media, uh, making all kinds of outrageous accusations that, you know, Prime Minister and the Hardeep uh, Najjar, who was murdered, were in a gay relationship, that they found cocaine on the prime minister's plane, and they're really riling up uh, Indians uh, uh, against the, the Canadian government, and that endangers the lives of people who are st serving there. Now, one would only one would hope that the government does have contingency plans in place, and you know, if you need a visa, maybe you can apply online uh, or through the mail so that you can get your visa. Uh, the other thing is maybe you can go to a nearby country, and our consulates or our embassies in these countries can process these visas because we get a lot of students coming here, and there are a lot of business people coming. Not only that, there are a lot of Indians who want to come and see their own families, like younger people who may have moved to India or from. Mm -hmm to Canada and their parents want to come and see them or their brothers and sisters want to come and see them and vice versa. So we're in a, a really difficult situation with a, a country that is uh, fast growing and everybody wants to have a, uh, a trading relationship with India and we also see it as a very important counter rate to China. So the Americans, for example, and other allies have been supportive of Canada in this sense. You've got to cooperate. We've seen the allegations from Canada. We believe that they're serious. Please cooperate in this investigation. But nobody's going to say we're going to do sanctions or we're going to cut trade with India. It's just too important a player. Just really quickly before I let you go, because this has domestic implications politically as well. Um, there, I have listened to, to, to people say that perhaps the only reason the prime minister got up and made a public statement about this in the way he did was because you were going to, to write a story on that. Do you have a sense? Yeah, I don't. I think they would kind of force their hand. But I mean, the problem with this is that they'd already been talking to a lot of people. Uh, they talked to our allies. I mean, this story was going to get out. Um, I, I'm surprised they didn't have to handle it the way they did. They could have simply come out 
once the story came out, they could have come out and said, look, for national security reasons and because of an ongoing police investigation, uh, we're not going to say anything on this issue, but we've talked to our Indian counterparts and our allies, uh, and we're going to leave it at that. By uh, directly accusing the Indian government of being involved in a, in a murder of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil, they may have painted Modi into a corner, and maybe there was another way to do it. But I'm not faulting the government at the same time. Look, um, a Canadian was killed uh, on Canadian soil by what I believe it must be solid evidence that Indian agents were involved. And so, you know, I'm, uh, you know I'll give the, the Prime Minister the benefit of the doubt. Okay, I'll leave it there. Bob, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Bob Fife is the Ottawa Bureau Chief for the Globe and Mail. To recap, CTV News has learned that the Indian government